Hey, what's up guys? My name is Thomas. I'm the author of this free After Effects template file computer intro. So what we're going to be going over in this video is just really quickly how to replace the screen. It's a nice template for, let's say you want to use like a, a photo, a video, a website within here and display it for users or an intro. It's a lot of different use cases for it. So let's dig right in in After Effects to this. Within After Effects, we have the computer intro composition open by default. If you're not seeing that, just double click here on computer intro. And within here, we have the controller, we have our 10 moves and the background. So let's click on the controller and in the effect controls panel, and if you're not seeing that, go to window effect controls. We have our theme dark and theme light options. So if we disable theme dark, we have the standard look and theme light, we have the light look. So I'm just gonna go back to theme dark for now. Next we have this uh, text. You can just delete these if you want, if you don't want this computer demo, which I'm guessing you don't want that in there. If you do want it though, I guess you could just click on this uh, text layer and then change the text. But I'm just going to delete it because I don't think most of you will actually use it. I'm going to select move one and I'm going to have my current time indicator between these two keyframes and just delete that. So then I'll just kind of start on. So the next thing we're going to do is replace a screen. So how we're going to do that is let's say for move one, I want to replace that screen from the placeholder. So I'm going to go to move one, open the folder and then move one screen, double click on there. And then I'm going to import my asset hitting command I or control I. And then I have this one that I've just imported quick. I'm going to click and drag and drop it in there. And then I'm going to delete that placeholder video. Next, I'm going to go back to the computer intro main. And that's really all there is to it. Now, of course, you'd want to like select it, hit S, scale that down or however you'd want it to be in your screen. But one more tip is I'm going to open up, go to Window, Effects and Presets, and I'm just going to add a Curves layer to it. So I'm just going to click and drag and drop it onto there. Grab the top right and bring that over. Now, if I go back to Computer Intro, it just kind of brightened it up like that's a before and after. Just adds a little bit more polish. Just make sure you don't overexpose what's ever in your screen. So the next thing I want to show you is if we go into move one, we have a text layer in here. So if I enable that, I know it's kind of hard to see right now. So if I go to window character and I change the color of this to white, you can see it better. So this text will actually respect the 3D space. There's a camera and then this is enabled in 3D. So we can have this move in 3D space with our computer. So we'll disable that. Next is the camera lens blur. So this is actually all pre-rendered out from Cinema 4D and I pre-rendered out a depth mat. So if you have camera lens blur enabled, it will respect that depth mat. So I'm gonna enable. So you wanna probably stick somewhere between the two to five range. I wouldn't overdo it too much with the camera lens blur and it does slow After Effects down a little bit. So just be cautious. That's why it's off by default. So I'm gonna disable that again, go back to computer intro. And that's pretty much it. I guess one more thing I want to show you too is like, let's say you don't want all 10 moves back to back. You just want one move. So what you do then is just grab move one, drag it over to this icon right here, drop, and that will have just the one move in there. Maybe you want to add another move right after this one, maybe move six, I don't know. So I'm gonna hit Command K, go to composition settings. I'm just gonna add a long duration in. It doesn't really matter how long it is. Holding option, I'm gonna zoom my mouse wheel back and that will zoom it back. You could also like click this right here and drag and drop it over. I'm just gonna grab move, did I say six? Drag and drop that in there. And I had them fade between each other in the computer intro composition. So I'll do that same thing. I think there was like two seconds. Yeah, so it was eight seconds in that it started. So I'm gonna go eight seconds in on here and hit T and set an opacity keyframe, then go to the 10 seconds and bring that down to zero. I'm gonna zoom back just a little bit and over. And then just click and drag and drop this. And now it'll fade in just like it does in the computer intro. Now, if you wanna change these to the theme light, again, you just have to go back to the computer intro to this controller layer and change it to theme light. 
And then with this new move that we created, these will respect that. I hope you enjoy using it. And if you have any questions, feel free to message me anytime at support at thomascover.com. And don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of free resources coming out in the future. A lot of stuff on my hard drive over the years that I've been meaning to do tutorial for or give away for free. And now is the time. Like I have so much stuff that I think you'll find value in coming out. So be sure to subscribe. Thank you.